assume it's 8.25. The tax rate is 8 and a quarter percent. I want you to find out the sales tax and I want you to find out the, the purchase price, the total purchase price. So sales tax and total price. You have to change 8.25% into a decimal in order to use it on your calculator, absolutely. So in our case right here, if you're trying to find the sales tax, you need to know it's a tax rate 0 0.0825 times the purchase price of, in this case, it's $95. 0 0.0825 times 95, nod your head if you made it that far, you got that. Okay. Multiply that. How much is you, are you going to get charged? Seven, eight. Did you round appropriately? Yeah. yeah. That's your sales tax. That's how much extra is going to be added on to the 95 bucks. So if you add that on to the 95 dollars, you're going to get 102 dollars. Uh, I guess I'll show you the work here too. You're taking the 95 plus the 7.84, and you're going to get 102 dollars 84 cents. Yes, no? Yes. So if you go to the store right now, buy a $95 run blender in Turlock where it's 8.25, I think it's 8.25 up there, you're going to get $102.84 charge on your whatever you buy it with. How many will be okay with this whole idea of sales tax? Good deal. All right. So we're still talking about taxes and commission, basically dealing with our percentages. So. When we're trying to find out sales tax, which maybe this weekend you had a whole lot of sales tax if you bought anything, uh, sales tax is found by taking the price, the sticker price, whatever you're paying for, multiply it by some tax rate, that gives you the amount of tax that you're going to be charged. Now, on top of that purchase price, you add your sales tax, that gives you what your, your check comes out to, what you're actually going to pay. We talked about that last time. Now, let's say we had to do this just a little bit differently. Let's say that you knew the purchase price and you knew how much sales tax you were charged, could you find out the tax rate? So for instance, you went to this one, one area, you didn't actually know what, the, what it was, like 8.75 or 8.25, but you wanted to figure it out. Because maybe you want to go back there uh, if it had a lower tax rate than where you live. So let's see if we can do that with this example. So we knew that we bought a, a car. We bought an $18,500 car. The tax on $18,500 car is $1,665. What we want to do is find out the tax rate. Let's see about this. So, well, we have, we have a, an equation right up here that says sales tax equals the tax rate times the purchase price. Hey, do you know how much the sales tax was? Let's find that out. How much was the sales tax in this situation? Very good. Somebody else, what is the purchase price? We're trying to find the tax rate. So could we plug in some of these numbers? So for instance, instead of sales tax, I know that was 1665 Do I know the tax rate? No. Let's call that X. Do I know the purchase price? Yes. Sure. That's the 18500 So if you're trying to deal with finding sales tax out, sometimes we can still use the same formula, only we're solving for a different thing here. So instead of actually finding the sales tax, you're, you're given the sales tax. Instead of using the tax rate, we're finding the tax rate, and we still know the purchase price, how much you spent on it. 
Is there a way you could solve this for x? Look at it as an equation. Yes. How would you solve for x? Divide, Divide by what? 18.5. This one? No. Or this one? Yeah. Well, we're trying to solve for x. So if we divide over here, we're still going to have x multiplied by some crazy number. But we don't want that. What we do want to do is get rid of the 18.5. If we divide both sides by 18.5, mm -hmm. notice how the 18.500 divided by 18.500, that's going to go away. That's going to be out of our equation. What are we going to get on the right-hand side? On the left-hand side, on your calculators, which you should all have, take 1665 divided by 18,500. Say that again. 0 0.09. 0 0.09, no other numbers? No. I need to show hands. Some people got 0 0.09. What's 0 0.09 stand for in this case? 9 Wait, how, where's, where's the 0 0.09 go then if I want to change it to a percent? How, how are you saying 9 percent here? What do you need to do? Uh, so if I have 0 0.09, we can convert that to a percentage because it asks for the tax rate, right? Listen, the tax rate is 0 0.09. However, most people don't say the tax rate is 0 0.09, they say 9 percent. So to translate this thing back to a percent, you move your decimal. We'd say 0 0.09, but that's the same thing as 9%. So you can go, wow, that's, that's kind of a high tax rate. Tax rates are usually in the eights. Usually in the eights. If you're lucky, they're in the sevens. How many people feel okay with this so far? I'm happy to do one and one, and then we'll, we'll move on to commission. Did you guys buy a TV this weekend? This, well, some TVs were cheap. A while back, um, I bought a, a TV. No, a friend of mine bought a TV. It's $406, and they got $34.51 as a tax. What I want to do is find out their, their tax rate in that situation. Do you have a question? Uh, what about if you left the point zero nine wrong? No, it's not wrong. They mean the same thing. However, you're going to see 9% as your answer because point zero nine and 9% do mean the same thing, right? Just move the decimal. However, when we're talking about tax rates and rates in general, we typically give them as, as a percentage. Right? If, you, if you're talking about commission, most people make 6% commission if they sell their own listing for real estate. You're not going to say, I make 0 .06 on my commission. You say usually 6%. So that's, that's typically how we're going to see it written. All right? Now go ahead and try this example. Tax is $34.51 on a $406 television. I want you to find the tax rate very similar to this example. Tax is thirty-four fifty-one on a four hundred six dollar TV. Find the tax rate. <laughs> so we're still using that first equation up on the board: sales tax equals tax rate times purchase price. Only this time you're looking for something different. You're looking for the, the tax rate. Very similar to last example. Okay, so from up on the board, we know that sales tax equals tax rate times purchase price. Sales tax equals tax rate times purchase price. That's what that says. 
All you need to do is identify what parts are which numbers, basically. Uh, what is your, what's your tax rate? No, we don't know that. So put some variable. It doesn't matter if it's X or not. But we don't know what the tax rate is. What is the purchase price here? Good. And what was the sales tax that you were charged? Show of hands how many people were able to, to get that formula. Good for you. That's good. All right. Now, we're trying to solve for X because X is our tax rate. How do you solve for X? How do we get rid of that multiplication is with our division. So we're trying to get X by itself, not this. This is already by itself. We're trying to get this X by itself. That means get rid of the 406. We have to do that by division. We get X equals, you're going to take 34.51 divided by 406. Hey, does it matter in which order you plug these numbers in? If you plug in 406 divided by 34.51, are you going to get the same answer? No. Try it if you think so. Try it. Does it work out the same if you plug in 406 first? No, it doesn't. Not, a, not even close. Division is not commutative, which means the order in which you plug them in is very important. So if you're trying to do 3451 divided by 406, you better press 3451 first, and then divide, and then 406. What do you get out of that? 0 0.85. 0 0.85. 0 0.85 is what you said, like that? 0 0.08. 0 0.08, oh, okay. Is there a difference there? Yes. One would be 85% tax. That means you buy something worth $100 and they charge you $85 just to buy it. Do you want to pay that? No. No, me neither. That's ridiculous. So we better make sure we have that correct. 0 0.085, oh, that's way different. Translate that to a percent. That means you move that decimal place, what is it, left or right? Right. right. How many spots? Two. two. Always two. 8.5%. Make sure you have the percent sign. That is your tax rate. Where would you rather buy stuff, folks? Place in the first example, place in the second example. Uh, second. Definitely second. You're going to charge half a percent less for the same item, the right? same thing. So here, if you, bought, if you bought that TV over here, it would cost you more money. How many people understood this example? Good, okay, that's fantastic. Now, I gave you a little preview about commission, but a lot of times, places that sell typically high value items work on commission. It gives them incentive to, to sell things better, to be more persuasive, you would say. For instance, at Sears, not, not every one of their departments work, works on commission, but their appliances do. So if you go into appliances and you say, hey, I wanna buy a washer dryer, you're gonna have lots of people that want to help you. You with me on that? Why do they want to help you? They get money. Man, they get money if you buy something from them. So if, if me and you are working for commission and someone walks in the door, I'm going to want to be the first to them. I'm going to want the best I can do because I'm going to get a percentage of whatever they buy. Do you understand the idea of commission? Yeah. Same thing with real estate. Real estate only works on commission. They don't get it hourly, typically. They usually just get a percentage of the value of the house. We'll talk about that right now. Here's how you find commission. It's actually really similar to sales tax. You're going to notice that the formula is almost identical. <laughs> Here's how commission works. Commission says you're going to have some sort of commission rate, just like a tax rate, times the selling price of whatever you're selling. That's commission.